Welcome to Loving Truth. We're going to look at Psalm 77 and divide it into a couple sections. It is a psalm from Asaph, and it is a psalm that starts out with a normal human condition that is deep suffering, pain that's hard to comprehend. Listen to these words. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord at night. I stretched out untiring hands, and I would not be comforted. I remembered you, God, and I groaned. I meditated, and my spirit grew faint. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. Ever been in a situation like that? He can hardly verbalize his prayer. His spirit is fainting. He can't sleep. He's praying in an untiring fashion at night, stretching out his hands, but there's no comfort to be found. When he remembers God, he groans because he feels so distant from him. So he says in verse three, I meditated. And that's a good place to start. Meditation is actually connected with the word to muse and related to music in some sense. Uh, to think about the words uh, that come from our favorite songs go deep into our heart. And so meditation is to take the truth of God deep into our soul so that we not only understand it cognitively, but we began to apply it personally and experience its power in our life. Meditation is to take the word of God over and over in our mind until it truly becomes part of our heart and our soul. The psalmist goes on and says, I thought about the former days, the years of long ago, and I remembered my songs in the night. My heart meditated and my spirit asked six questions that come from verse 7 through verse 9. And listen, listen to these questions that feel so depressing. Will the Lord reject forever? He feels the rejection right now, but will this constantly be my experience? Will he never show his favor again? Has the unfailing love of God vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Notice these questions have that sense of from now and forever. Will God's promise and his love and his favor, will it be gone? Is that a thing of the past? Has God forgotten to be merciful, has his anger, in his anger, has he withheld his compassion? I love the Psalms in part because they reveal to us all the human emotions that we go through in life. And although this is not a happy one, it is a regular one. It is a constant one where our sorrows bring us to the breaking point and we have nowhere else to turn. But this is the key to handling difficulty. We go to God and we begin to think about who he is. We ask our, 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 ourselves hard questions. Now, these questions about God rejecting forever or not showing his favor, has his unfailing love stopped being uh, unfailing? Has it failed? Has his promise fallen to the ground flat? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Well, the answer to all those questions is no, he won't reject forever. His promises don't fail. His unfailing love never fails. God has not forgotten to be merciful, but that's how we feel. And it's okay. It is okay to express our true feelings to the Lord. That's what prayer is about. It's a conversation with our father. And we tell our father exactly how we feel. Now, in these questions, it appears that the meditation of Asaph has been unsuccessful. But we have to remember that in our relationship with God, when we go through difficult times, that the trial is not the work of a moment, but it is a lesson 
for a lifetime. It takes, indeed, sometimes a lifetime to learn the lesson. Or let me put it this way. We're at halftime in this psalm, right about in the middle of the psalm, and all looks lost, but the game is not over. Still two more quarters to play. And as poorly as we've played in the first half and as lost as we feel, when we meditate and look to God, he comes to us in power and reveals himself. So if you are in the middle of your time of difficulty, if you are in the midst of a trial and you see no way out, meditate upon God. Ask the hard questions and look to him for divine answers because he will come through. His promises never fail. Let's pray. Oh Lord, help us when we begin to lose our faith and struggle to the point of wanting to quit. Our spirit faints as we think about our situation. But let us go from thinking about our problems to thinking about your power and your ability to deal with every situation. Turn our hearts by faith to you in Jesus' name. Amen.